Irate youth descendant Fulani Hertzman and Q several cattle. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Irate youth of Ado, a farming community in the Sioni West municipality of the Brono region, has descended on Fulani Hertzman in the area and killed several cattle. The aggrieved youth who wore red headgear and armbands sent the influx of the nomads in the area had been burrowing because the cattle were causing extensive destruction to the farms and produce. In an interview with the Ghana news agency GNA at Ado Nana Amoa, the chief of a town said the animals had destroyed maize, yam and cassava farms, saying the castle in the area numbered more than 7,000. He said the destructive activities of the herdsmen who wielded cutlasses and other offensive weapons had created fear and panic in the area, saying many farmers were even afraid to go to their farms. Mr. Ishak Usulemana, the assemblyman for Ado Electoral Area, told the GNA the community informed the municipal assembly, but the nomads and their cattle kept arriving in the area, saying we have no other option than to drive them away by ourselves. Meanwhile, some resident farmers in the area said they lived in fear of repressal from the Fulani herdsmen who escaped and left the animals in the area and therefore appealed for military protection. You see how people will not want something to behave. These people, and they are not, in Niger Ni they're not Nigerian. You see? Do you see? Do you see how people who do not want, as in, this is how it is. Permit me to say, this is how it should have been when these terrorists came knocking on the shores of Nigeria, when they had their first attack. When they had their first attack. Let's say, I'm not saying that the Fulani herdsmen are the bandits, so I'm just saying. Had it been when the bandits came knocking on the shore of Nigeria and the east of and the Boko Haram, had they been then do them like this, as in, then attack? Uh -uh. Have you seen what is going on? By the time you hammer them like this, the first time they come, the second and the third, they no get option. You go register for their memory. Even then, go they talk among themselves, say, no, uh -huh. that place will go among. Uh -huh. That place no be go, no, no be no go area. Then go use their, their safe, then go advise their safe by their safe. So I beg, make we find another location. That is it. I keep saying it. It is because the government have been treating these people with kid gloves. That is why they are thriving in Nigeria. See, Ghanaian people, by themselves, they don't, they don't give those people chase. But at least, as they give those people chase now, they can't talk to the government and say that they fear me, they're not going to attack them. Something needs to be done. Ha! Huh. Fulani is a constant problem everywhere. Ghanaian, you people should prepare for war. I hope you're seeing what is happening in Nigeria. Well, I, I take it that Ghanaians are not Nigeria. There's a particular time in Ghana, they sacked all Fulani herdsmen. They gave them an ultimatum. And that automated when it elapsed, they started killing the animals. See those people, they have, no, they have been known for their intolerance for nonsense. If you want to do nonsense, make sure you're not on their shores. I don't know if you're getting me. Well, like in Nigeria here, people go, don't die, 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 you, until they kill one person, one uh, uh, house of rep in, in grand cousin or in great grand cousin. That is when you see the government springing up. Yes, until it affects people there. At the top, that is when you hear, oh, government can't do this one. They can't say this one. Sincerely. Nigerian exported Fulani to the world. Fulani are the most weakest tribe in the whole world. Fulani worship their cows. Now Fulani are busy buying the guns and ammunition so that they'll come back for their revenge. There is nothing like Nigerian Fulani because they are not indigenous to this country. The ones here came as invaders who conquered the houses. Even the Ghanaian government loved their peace. They should find, if the Ghanaian government loves their people, they should find, they should place a serious check on those herdsmen flocking into their territory because they don't value life. And when they hit back, no soul, big or small, be spared. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. Exactly. The Ghanaian government should watch out. They should prepare. Well, I trust, permit me to say that I trust the Ghanaian government. I trust those ones because, like I said before, I've heard news before where the Fulani over there, over there in Ghana, I watched, I read this particular news article that they were causing trouble. They gave them, if they gave them ultimatum that they should leave. I did not leave. This one is the policeman. If they see them, shoot them on sight. They gave them ultimatum to leave their country. That if they don't leave, 
if you see them close to you, shoot on, as in the policemen talk, say, now then they talk, say, shoot on sight if you get gone. I had the news that I was saying, ah, if small Ghana can be doing this, we think on the soap for our own now. We will be there, they call us giant of Africa. You know, I was watching the news that was so much like, eh? This can actually happen. I was surprised. They gave them ultimatum that around that period. I can't remember the period really, but uh, certainly not this year. They gave them the, the, the chase of their life. So by the time they go, go, they go use that tongue count their seats. And maybe they don't come back again. They go still do them the same time. When they come back again, they do register in their memory that definitely Ghana is not a place for them to come and mess with. I like Nigeria here that, you know. All right. Not in Ghana. The wash should not only brew, it can even distill. Okay. Fulani will come for revenge in the night. Better be prepared. I wonder why any reasonable person should let this animal to destroy crops on Fana. My dear, the thing is, had it been these people now, eh, they take over their, they watch over their crops. You know, allow your, your cow wander into person farmland. Then there will not be trouble because the way these cows are precious to you is the way those farmers' farmlands are precious to them. I mean, I cannot spend so much money, acquire hectares of land, and want to use this for farming. I've done all the job on it with all the toiling and the laboring and every the money I've spent on that farmland. And I'm, I've invested a lot. And you come into a cow to come and, Uncle, if not me, I go retaliate. But I will not even be thinking when I will be retaliating. I'll be doing it out. It will be, re it will be reflex action. That is the truth. Because the way you value your cows, which is your business, is the way these people value their farmland as well. They say, human, uh, they say your right stop where another person will start. So you don't encroach another person's right just because people, if you talk, people say, eh, you know, if you talk that um, they should stay wherever they are, and they, you know, take off their heads or cattle, wherever they are. They will say then people are taking away the freedom of movement from them. I said, no. Bear your own freedom of movement. Stop. Now, so, now dear another person will start. Meaning, say, you cannot encroach into another person's own. I wonder why any reasonable person should lead animals to destroy crops on farmland. Is that not witchcraft? The Fulani herders of demons carrying out instruction from the pit of hell. They have become thorns in people's flesh. And like a plague, they should be seriously avoided anywhere on earth. Flying herdsmen must embrace the modern world, fearing cows and other animals. Creating the necessary fear and tension is not the solution. What baffles me is that they don't heed to the advice and the elders don't speak against their crimes. And they tell you, and they tell you, a herder is no different from a Shia Muslims. All right. Ghana no be Nigeria. Nine be the teen. Nigerians, as I tell you about the one I saw over the news. They know they tolerate. Make Ghanaians give them chase so. Nobody deserves to be treated like because you are rearing cows does not mean that a lot of people should lose their own source of livelihood. All right, on this news, we've come to the end of the news.